Today we're talking about six of the top digital marketing strategies for you and your small business. By the end of this video, you'll know six different ways where you can help get more clients, more leads, more business. Stay tuned. Hi, I'm Mike Mancini, and if you like tips on how to more effectively market your small business, do us a favor, hit the like button below the video and subscribe right now, and then uh, hit the little bell notification as well right next to that, and you'll get notified when we release new videos each and every week. Having a digital marketing strategy is so, so essential these days, but you know, not only for big corporations and, and companies, but also, and especially, for the small business owner. And the reason being is it, if you're not marketing, you're dying. You are going to be washed up inside of six months. You really need to understand how to go out and find business, especially in the online world these days. Now, we're gonna, the six strategies we're gonna talk about are a mixture of paid and uh, free strategies. Now, the free strategies, one thing you need to remember are not always free. What I mean by that is if it takes you time, Time is money, therefore they're not technically free, but they can be free as far as you not having to put any cash forward. The first one we're gonna be talking about is content marketing. Now what is content marketing? Content marketing is essentially content that you put on your website that is related to your business, and what your content marketing should do is talk about your service, talk about how you have a solution to a particular problem that your ideal client might have. So here we are. At uh, one of our websites, PPC Video Training, and we have our content down here, and it's essentially what you talk about. Content is what you might have on your blog, okay? These are some of our blog articles, how much do Google Ads cost, uh, what is quality score in Google Ads, and if you click on these, essentially they are articles, and we do some videos as well, and you know it talks about specific things or questions that our clients might have, and what it does is it gets them into their into our ecosystem. So then we can really market to them in other ways. And if they have interest in our articles, then they also might have interest in the services that we offer. So that's content marketing is number one. The second one we're gonna talk about is search engine optimization. Now that one gets a little tricky because while you can do it yourself, it is a science to learn how to optimize your blog articles and your website. And what do we mean by search engine optimization? So what we do is we take all of the content on your website and uh, your blog articles and you optimize it and it lets Google and the other search engines know what your content is about. And there is a very, very specific way to do this. Now, while I am a total proponent of search engine optimization because it brings us in a ton of free traffic all the time and more and more and more throughout time, it does take a lot of time. It does take money if you're hiring someone to do it. And also, there's no guarantee that it's gonna get you on the the first page of search results in Google. So when I, uh, the question is, what is quality score on Google Ads? This is not in the first page of Google. This is optimized for that keyword, um, what is quality score? However, over time it may, but this was also just released a few months ago. So over time, it may really bump up there depending on how people experience this page once they get to it. And when we talk about optimization, we're talking about things in the headlines. We're talking about titles of images. What is the content inside the article? Is it related to our headline? Is it uh, related to the rest of our website? Is there a good description for it? That is what we're talking about when we're talking about search engine optimization. The third one, local marketing. Now, what you can do with local marketing is not only get out there and do it in kind of a grassroots campaign, but when you're talking about digital strategies, you're talking really about Google Maps. We're gonna use our old trusty search of a plumber. Now, if you scroll down, these are obviously paid ads in Google, and if you scroll down here and you see the map, this is Google Maps. What this is, is this is a Google business listing, and you can go ahead and Google that, Google business listing, and you can follow instructions on how to set that up there. The Google business listing is essentially a free tool that allows you to put your business online. And as you can see, it does come up on the first page, but what you wanna do is you wanna follow all the steps. You wanna add some images, you wanna fill out your address, you wanna fill out your hours, you wanna fill out your services, how far of an area do you serve? You wanna go ahead and optimize that listing to be the best that it can be. And what I mean by optimize is follow all of the steps, 
fill out all of the information. To verify this, Google will send you something in the mail to your business address. So they will basically essentially say, oh, this is your uh, ABC business is yours. We're going to send you uh, this little postcard in the mail. They say it takes up to 10 days, two weeks. I've, I've had it happen in literally just a couple of days, two, three days. Uh, but once it's verified, you can see it's got links to your website. It's got directions to a business, your name, your phone number. And it also allows you to get ratings from your previous customers. And when people go here and they see, oh, this, this company has almost five complete stars, um, that's awesome. So it's really, really important for local service businesses, especially to have one of these. Take the time, go through the process and do it correctly. I can't even tell you how much business this can get you when it's done right. Number four, social media marketing. Now here's our social media page for ppcvideotraining.com. What I would suggest for a business is you don't have to really update these daily. In fact, I would suggest not spending as much time on that. It is a great idea to have a social media marketing um, presence. And the reason being is a lot of people want to see if you're a real business. It's more a legitimacy check than anything. So you might, they are used to say, you know what? Uh, we want to do business with a company that has a website and has a social media presence. It just shows that you are more legitimate, that you have clients. This is another great place to get ratings um, for your business. But as you can see, we post a lot of our articles here uh, that talk to the, our potential clients. Um, who, And also, you could put all your information here about your business, links to your web page, so on and so forth. And if you're wondering what type of content you should be putting on your social media profile, we have another video called our top five social media marketing tips for small businesses. There'll be a link to it up in the upper right hand corner right about now. Go ahead and take a look at that as well. Number five, we're email marketing. Now I get a lot of pushback on email marketing because people say, well, I don't have the time to do a newsletter. I don't have the time to be emailing and I don't want to email my clients each and every week. That is not what I'm talking about. Email marketing is still around because it works. I can't tell you how many times I have pushed back myself against email marketing and then all of a sudden decided, you know what, I'm gonna give it a shot and you make three or five sales like that. People that are already in your ecosystem, they know who you are, they know what you can do and especially, especially with service businesses, this is key. You can do promotions. You can do reminders. Uh, hey, we haven't cleaned your carpets in six in six months. Would you like us to come out again before winter? Or for lawn service companies, hey, uh, we're doing our fertilizations right now. Would you like us to put you on our list? I mean, there are a number of different ways. We work with a number of pest control companies and we will help them with their campaigns. And I think a lot of them are usually like, hey, it's uh, time for a quarterly visit. Do you wanna schedule our calendar? Uh, or, um, you know what, it's ant season. Uh, are you having any problems? Let us know. And what that does is it really just sends a reminder to somebody, oh, I did see an ant the other day in the kitchen. We've had problems with him before. I'm just gonna schedule right now. I promise you, this stuff works. Email marketing is extremely important, but you don't wanna do it too often. Our last digital marketing strategy for small businesses is paid marketing. Now, here are some examples of paid online advertising. In this instance, we're talking about Google Ads or what some used to be called Google AdWords. Right here, you can see these green boxes. These are paid advertisements. These are free right now to have on here. However, once they get clicked, it will charge the company. It may charge them two, three, four dollars, whatever it might be. But what is so key about this is these clicks have intent. People need a plumber. They're going to Google typing in things like plumber, plumber near me, emergency plumber. They have a need, you have a solution, put your solution in front of them right when they're looking for it. This is so important and so impactful for small businesses. This is how you scale a small business in the digital world. Paid advertising can do that for you. It needs to be done correctly, but it 100% works. All right, do you have other digital marketing strategies that you like, that you use, that work really well for you? Do us a favor, let us know in the comments below. We'd love to hear them. So if you enjoyed content like this, perhaps you'd enjoy other content related to small businesses. Over to the left-hand side, you see a couple of videos, Google Ads versus traditional advertising, and another one titled, 10 Huge Small Business Problems That You Will Probably Face. 
Thanks so much for watching. See you next time.